Greetings vloggers, bloggers, followers, and potters. Dustin here from Dustin's Dynasty. Another great day on the horizon. It's a Saturday morning. It's always good to start with a Saturday morning. Um, just want to talk today a little bit about catastrophizing. Um, as you know, with autism, there's anxiety. And when anxiety comes heightened, it can sometimes be in catastrophizing, which can mean to the point where something is totally... Um, not even irrational, but it's like you think of many things when you do something new or do something every day. Uh, when it's when you're in that law of anxiety or um, where it's a blank period, and you think what could go wrong, everything, anything, and everything go wrong. Um, you, oftentimes, uh, it can be a struggle and it can be a challenge to get through to get through that lonely time uh, or that independent time. It's a way of thinking. It's called cognitive distortion. It's uh, a person catastrophizes when they see see an unfavorable outcome to an event, and then decides that if that outcome have have does happen, that it will be a disaster. Um, you know, they don't see the good. You know, individuals. You know, it's hard, especially with individuals that are autistic, such as myself, to see past. You know, if that 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 thing does happen, is it going to be all that bad and is it going to be is the world's going to end you know um you know it's it's very much like you know um driving i have struggled i i can drive well i haven't driven in a while i probably need to brush up on my skills i saw my driving instructor the other day and i need really need to get on the road so to speak and i can i just choose not to because uh, I have these irrational fears that I cannot drive. Um, I know I need to, and eventually I will. But it's just, it's just so, it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't get a bug in your brain to do that. You know, you know, you know, you think if somebody leaves you, or you know, or you fail a test, or you don't recover from something, that you'll never get, you'll be, you'll be worse off, and it's magnifying. You know the the behavior so um it's a result it can be a result or a cause of anxiety very much so with me um it can be a very it makes me very anxious uh, i worry a lot and i know i know don't need to some a lot of the time and i don't um and every person does it but um you know i do a lot of therapy for that so you know it's uh you know, it can come from, you know, being vague is a reason it can start it. You know, um, you know, when somebody says we need to talk, that can be a, a way of starting it, um, you know, or, you know, the value or the fear of something, you know. Um, the difference between uh, c catastrophizing and anxiety is it can play it. Uh, um, is that it can play a useful role in a person's life. Anxiety can be a positive emotion because it helps be protective of themselves. However, catastrophizing does not usually have benefits because um, it fills us with unnecessary emotions and they take time and thought away from the reality of a situation that really could not be that bad. Um, they, they're both anxiety and catastrophizing are very harmful and can be, but anxiety can be beneficial in some circumstances. This can be a link to depression. And if it keeps going on, it does get into a depressive state. And I've been there and I don't really like being there. And it, it's like, sometimes I just can't be there. And it really, really hurts. Um, you know, it just does. Uh, you know, I walk every day and I, I never think I'm gonna finish, and it's it's hard. And it, you know, it's pain. It's very pain. You know, over our feelings of pain, and you know, it's just it's just um, it's if you feel helpless and stuff, it really is hurting. Um, so you know, medication helps with that. You know, it's just it, it's really good. Um, so here's some tips to manage that. So number one. You want to acknowledge that unpleasant things do happen. Life is full of challenges. And while it's the good and the bad days, 
just because one day is bad, and I've had those this week, does not mean that all days will be bad. Um, you need to recognize, number two, you need to recognize when thoughts are irrational. Um, they follow a distinct pattern. A, um, a person will start with a thought, like, I am hurting today. Then they will expand on the thought or worry for anxiety. The pain is only going to get worse. The hurting means I'll never get better. Um, you need to recognize and you need to know how to better handle that. Um, you need to learn to say stop. And I have a trouble saying that as well. Um, stop. If you to stop the repetitiveness, the catastrophic thinking. Um, you need to say it sometimes or say stop or no more. That's where it's going keep them from continuing and you know not not thinking um you need to think about another outcome instead of thinking about a negative outcome consider a positive one or a less negative option number five uh off, affirm, offering positive affirmations and this helps me a lot and if you look at my pinterest follow me on pinterest at dustin's dynasty you will see that i put a lot of positive affirmations and quotes that help me get through life um, I haven't been really on this week, but I do. I have put a great deal of effort into my Pinterest, so please look at it if you are in this kind of state of mind. Uh, it is very helpful. Um, you know, I, they help me overcome the worst sometimes. And you know, lastly, self care. You need to practice self care for yourself. You need to get the thoughts over when the when you're stressed. Get enough rest, and and I have been doing that, and it's been helping. You know, the takeaway of this is, you know, um, it's irrational, negative thoughts. If you find yourself continuing catastrophing in your life at home, techniques do not help. You need to see a therapist. Basic, simple. I see a therapist. It's nothing wrong. Um, you know, but it, it needs, I know I need to improve it personally. So with that, I thank you. As always, like, follow, and subscribe on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Pinterest, and TikTok. I thank you and have a nice day.